So let me show you guys how shitty my Instagram app is acting. My phone don't want me to be great. I blame the because system. corn is not made for human. Y'all see that, right? Now, why is it doing that? Oh, you need to update your app? No. This bitch is updated all the way to fuck up. Now, let's try to upload a reel. Hey, that's me. Look at that. And then they make it seem like the same video is that's not the that video. Look when I click it. Really? Why is it doing that? What's that about? Let me do it again. Hold on, let me show you. Just so y'all can know. See how it's just repeating the same stuff? Why is it doing that? Right? Okay. So look, I'm gonna click this one. Click. So I got the Galaxy S8 Active, which is an old outdated phone. I've got two of them. This is the phone that I am using. This is the other, this is my old one. Now th you can see why, right? Like this phone, literally the screen don't crack. This is the only crack it's ever gotten. This phone still works. It's just that it stopped reading the SIM all of a sudden one day. The reason why I stopped reading the SIM card is because it wanted me to update my phone and get a new one. But unfortunately, as you can see, in the, I literally have two of the same phone, two of the same phones. And so what what T-Mobile is doing is telling they're actually charged. I pay out of my pocket for this phone. They charge me every month for this phone for no reason. Then on top of that, they charge you extra. Like I can show you all the bills like the phone bill. They literally are charging me extra money just for having this phone. I literally have been into T-Mobile and Verizon because I was going to go to Verizon. And they literally tell you, yeah, they don't make phones like this because they, they basically want you to keep upgrading. I'm not here for that. I'm not here for spending money on phones like that. That's never been me. And so what my phone does is it inconveniences me. Intentionally. My phone intentionally inconveniences me. It's watching me. I already know. It, it knows I know. Um... And it's intentionally inconveniencing me so that I can get so frustrated to where I just spend my, all my money on a $2,000 phone or, you know, whatever. Like, these phones are too expensive to not come with the proper technology. This right here is a built-in case. Why don't they make phones like this? I can't find one like this anywhere. Built-in case, GoPro-type camera, editing. It comes with everything. This thing makes QR codes out of websites. This thing, literally, you can't, it is water resistant. I don't have, I don't got ranch all in the little speaker. It still has a plug for headphones. Because I don't want none of this new technology where everything is wireless and, and oh, I got to use my charger cord to listen to stuff. That is inconveniencing me. I don't like touchscreen. I don't like this shit anyway. But literally, they make it like so you're unable to do anything um, as far as like make money on the Internet. Because we all know human to human interactions with COVID now. Clearly, if you're trying to have a human to human interaction, people are putting their masks on and at treating you like you're a sickness or hate you for being gay or hate you for being black. Everything's so divided that human and hu human to human contact is literally so fragile because people are literally walking around, driving around with attitudes all day. So human to human contact, literally, until I do, unless I just walk up to people doing backflips, it's hard to get their attention to me even want to talk to me. Literally, just because they don't want the next person to think that they're gay. That's the mentality. So let's just be realistic real quick. I'm going to tell you the truth. They are trying to restrict us and to control us in such a manipulative way. This is so manipulative. This thing sees that I get, I get views, I get uh, people who comment, people who support me. And they don't like it because it's been trying to shadow ban me. It's been trying to keep me down. Somebody told me that when they see my post on the For You page, it looked like I ain't really got no views. But then when they click on my post, I got all these extra views that just came out of nowhere because they're shadow banning me. And then the, the apps and the media gets mad when my followers 
tell me the truth or expose the truth and then they punish them, punish their page, shadow ban them. And it's literally manipulative.